What's the significance of it today in 2021? The blues are about being alive. You mm. know, if you're sad, you can listen to the blues. If you're happy, you can listen to the blues. It's, mm. it's a fundamental music structure, but it's got so many, so many opportunities to improvise with. That it really, musicians love playing around with it. And that's one of the reasons that the blues continues to intrigue people is because it's always being reinvented. It's always something new depending on what instruments you've got combined, various techniques from various regions, things like that. There's always a way you can personalize the blues. The film, I think, I originally designed it as a memoir, you know, sort of a personal comment. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a lot, something that a lot of people can share if they're into rock and roll, if they're into soul, if they're into the blues. This is a way to be able to kind of connect with where it came from and where it's going now. All the guys that we talked to back then have died off. But now, young people, women, men, people in their 20s, are rediscovering this roots music. Mm -hmm. And a lot of African-American musicians are saying, this is something I want to get into because it's a part of our history. Now, because it's been rediscovered by this next generation, um, there are people like you know, King Solomon Hicks and uh, Chris Stone, Kingfish Ingram, and Mr. Sip, and a bunch of folks in their 20s who are basically just bringing this music back alive because they want to explore it now too. Mm -hmm. Same way the, the old folks did. Mm -hmm. There are a lot more women in the blues now. And that's one of the things that was great to be able to see is how many young women were saying, okay, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Of course they had their idols, you know, mm -hmm. but it was still something they wanted to reinvent. <laughs>